y'all here. Welcome to the quads. We're going to show you a virtual tour. So right here we have Morgan Hall. To the left of me we have Gatewood Hall. And then right behind Gatewood we have Harding Hall. And then right next to Harding we have Clark. But right now we're going to show you full Morgan and then the house has a full bright dining hall. So we can go on and look. So, right here is the lobby area. As so you can see, we have some nice couches and sitting areas and a TV. And then we have a ping pong table and a pool table. And you can get all those equipment to check out from the desk right here. And right next to me, I have the CRE pavilion, Eric. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm Eric Altier. I'm the CRE here in the quad. This will be my second full year here in the quad. I've been at the University of Arkansas for seven or so years. So, yeah. And then Emily's behind the camera. Hello everyone, my name is Emily Leal. I'm the marketing intern for University Housing. And be sure to tell us where you're tuning in from. So, we're gonna move over to the desk. Uh, Dylan Grayson Smith says, hi, Michelle. Hi. <laughs> Dylan. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's my co. So, <laughs> we have Quincy here working at the desk. Hello. Hello. And so normally during the school year, you'll have an RA or like a hall admin sitting here. So if you have any questions or need to check out equipment, you can just come to the desk. And this is also where you will get packages. And so we have the mailboxes on this side and behind the wall. And the mailboxes are for the quads residents and for future Holcomb students. And you just come here and then you get a message and just open up your box and get your package. We're getting a few comments of people telling us where they're tuning in from. Oh, yeah. um, Sarah's in McKinney, Texas. Dylan says Michigan. Uh, Reynolds says Koppel, Texas. And someone says, thank you so much for featuring the quad. Do you happen to know the room common area chair color? We can Let's see. Is, that, is that based on the accent wall maybe? Oh, the room? Wait, the common area? This one? Or like in the suites. Probably in the suites. In the suites, yeah. Suites, they're multicolored. Okay, okay. We are going into a suite, so we'll be sure we look at those rooms, those, those chairs for you. Uh, Angela is tuning in from McKinney. Lucas from Belleville, Illinois. Very diverse. And uh, someone, it doesn't have their name, says that your hair looks fabulous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. All right. So we're going to keep on moving. And so this hallway, normally whenever you walk down on these bulletin boards, there'll be like some memos and like certain events that will happen around campus. And so if you need to know updates about things you want to attend or like meetings, they'll be around here on the bulletin board. And then we're coming up to the media lab. And so you'll have like a whole bunch of computers you can use and a printing station. And that is very good for if you're on the central campus, it would be, this is the easiest access you have to print and to use the computer. So, there's multiple computers in there. We're going to keep moving. And to the left we have the actual dining hall. So this is where you'll get most of your food on campus. Pretty good. It's not your mom's cooking, but it will do the job. <laughs> do you have a favorite from eating in there? I like the orange chicken that they have. Normally, normally a lot of people will, you know, try to take all the orange chicken, so you know that's one of the favorites. And right here we have a music room slash practice room. We step inside them. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. It's kind of loud in here. So. so yeah, there's a piano and then a drum station. Michelle, what's your favorite? Who's your favorite artist? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My favorite artist is Chloe and Halle. They're a duo. And literally, if you know me, I talk about them 24 7. I love them so much. And if you have a chance, just to listen to them. Um, Cam asks, I have to ask, what is all the noise? The noise? It's the dining hall. They're getting ready for dinner prep. Or their dinner service starts at five. five. So that's all that is, is they're just getting ready for dinner. And we're getting ready to move out of this area. <laughs> so. We came into a quiet area where we could have a conversation. Yeah. Emily, who's your favorite artist? 
Uh, my favorite artist is BTS. Um, <laughs> everyone go listen to them. They're really good. Yeah. I second that. <laughs> All right. So I guess we'll head on to the floor now. Yes. That's right. So bear with us with a little bit of loudness. It's a very, very busy hallway. Yeah. Bear with us if we lose connection in the elevator. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> room, room, yeah, floor three, please. What's the third floor? People tuning in all over, it sounds like. That's yeah. Cool. Um, Michelle, what are you uh, studying? I'm studying art education, K 12. I'm super excited for that. And I love art. I really want to spread it and teach. I teach art. Um, Elisa asked, does Clark have fobs as well? Yes. So almost all the dorms will have a fob access so you can get in and only you will be able to have it with your key. And so we just came off the elevator. We're going to go down the hall and show you some of the study room situations in like another common area for the floor. Yeah, it's a pretty long wall. It kind of feels like I'm in a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Where long have you lived on campus, Michelle? I have lived in Gatewood, which is part of the Quads, Futural, and I'm living in a doggy in the fall. But right here we have a little small quiet lounge. It's really nice for whenever you need to study and get away from all the noise. Yes. <laughs> and then there's another outside study area with a TV and a light board that you can use. I know I see a lot of people during chemistry in the finals, I see a whole bunch of equations. You know, I'm an art major, so I don't really understand all that, but good for them. Um, someone asked, so that first area you were in is common to all of the Northwest Squad? To the, um, the downstairs, oh. I think. That area is... Yeah, that's our common space for the quad, well, for the building, for that floor. Um, but that door is actually, for any resident who doesn't live in the quad, so the whole Futural, or really any resident who wants to go to the dining hall, that door is open until 8-ish, not 8.30. Um, and then it becomes restricted to the people who live here at Morgan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the dining hall for all of North Campus. Yeah. Do we, can people uh, use an HDMI to attach to this television sure. and like do their own video games and Should stuff? People do, yeah. Okay. I've actually done that before. I just get a HDMI cord and adapter and I can either hook up like a presentation, a slideshow, or I can uh, watch something, you know. Uh, someone asked, will there be a live for each of the dorms in a quad, the quads I'm thinking? No, they're very similar. So we're going to look at Morgan today. And Morgan is very much like Gatewood and Harding and um, Clark. Clark. Thank you. They're all pretty similar. Um, are there any distinctions you'd call out? Honestly, the only, the only, the biggest difference is you're going to run into is the accent wall, which we have on the mm -hmm. university housing website page. Um, and then Gatewood has some suites that have just a little bit different furniture. Um, but outside of that, everything, everything you're about to see in this suite, even if you're a one person suite or a four person suite will look like minus like size and stuff, you will have the same more or less stuff. You'll have the same lounge furniture or furniture in your lounge. You'll have the same bathroom closet, ba uh, room set up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just, it may be different if you're by yourself or with two people or with four people yeah. or three. Three. We have one, two, three is the force. So, um, but yeah, outside of those couple of small things, everything you see is going to be exactly the same. All of our amenities are the same. We have 
bedding machines, we have ice machines, we have laundry facilities in each of the four buildings. Um, we have study spaces in each of the four buildings, TVs, all that stuff, recycling, all the, all the same stuff. And it's possible we're going to have one of our faculty and residents tune in yep. during our presentation. I see that she's around here. <laughs> um, um, while we're getting her on board, yeah. do you mind just telling us a little bit about... Um, so we have a, so basically a student or a professor who lives yeah. on here. Um, so we actually have two. So we have two professors who live on campus. We actually have one here in the. Uh, we have one here in the Quad, and the other one lives down in Adohi. Which I don't know if we've done the Adohi tour yet. So if you've done the Adohi tour, you've met um, Brian. Um, here in the Quad, we have Dr. Saidi. She is the. Uh, she's one of the faculty and residents that we have. Um, part of the faculty and residents program is to have faculty um, engage with residents in the residence halls. Um, doing different programs, doing different activities that are to their interests, but also to just sort of engage residents in a different way, having faculty engage with our residents in a, outside of the classroom experience. Um, so yeah, you know, you'll see Dr. Saidi around a lot. Um, she's really, really involved here in the quad or on campus doing um, different programs. Um, she has a focus in her, her, one of her programs that she'll do is a series of programs called Diversity Dialogues, which focuses on different uh, DEI programs, or different DEI topics. Diversity. What's the DEI? <laughs> I didn't realize it's a diversity, equity, and inclusion. Okay, okay. And uh, we've, uh, we've seen her in our chat log, and so we're gonna continue to see if we can't bring her in as a, as a chat person yeah. as we- as Dr. Saidi is awesome. This is her, she is finishing, she is going into her second school year with us. So okay. Okay. She's, she's been a really great partner. It's new technology for us, so we'll see if we can make it happen. Um, if she wants to add anything, don't let her. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I did right for her. Let's see. It's saying say she's unable to join. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, we'll see what we can get. All right. Yeah. Uh, we'll continue the tour then. We do have a couple of questions. Yeah, sure. um, Callie asked, Non-permanent wallpaper with sticky backing is not approved, correct? I, I think so. Well, <laughs> yeah. here's, here's the rule. Don't damage your walls. That's, that's that, all you need yeah. to know. Yeah. Don't damage your walls. Don't and, damage inside. I but, will say is like, you will you'll tell yourself that you will be super nice in taking it off, but I would, I would advise it. And someone else asked, could we use command hooks? You, for the same, you can. Um, but you have, we have we ask that you take them down when you leave, and take them down, night like the way they're supposed to be taken down, not just like ripping them off the wall, but like pulling the, the like strips mm -hmm. in. And if you install them uh, based on the directions and follow the directions pretty closely, you should have no problem uh, taking them down. It shouldn't be damaged. But it's only when you don't follow the instructions. Yeah, that's been our biggest issue. So. But yeah, any damage done to the walls because of wallpaper or three M hooks or um, whatever else is, is responsible to the residents. Okay. So we're going to go check out the laundry room right quick. So we're going to head down the hallway. And so pretty much all the floors share uh, a laundry room. And what's interesting here for the quads is that Clark is right next door, so some of the Clark residents will also use the same laundry room. Um, we have a couple of people asking, someone said, I've read that monkey hooks are approved for harding, but that makes holes. Are we charged for those holes? I would say, I, I don't know anything specifically about anything you might put in a hole or put in a wall. Um, contact housing at uart.edu to get a good answer to that question. Then you also have a written, you know, document of that as well, so. Housing and you work better than you. So this is what the laundry room will look like. You have your washers on this side, it comes dress right here. You do not have to pay. It's not put any points or anything. It comes with the tuition. And then as you can see on the wall, there's like an app you can use to download your phone. And it will show you like when there's laundry machines available, like when your stuff is done, it's only like easy and efficient so you can, you know, don't have to waste time sitting in here and just Get your stuff done correctly. There's also like folding tables right here so you can fold your clothes whenever it comes right out the dryer. And this is a really nice setup where you can get your stuff done. Mm -hmm. 
And so? And you mentioned um, tuition. Actually, the, uh, the costs for these are covered by housing fees. Housing fees, okay. Yeah. No, it's Sorry, not you know that. No, no, not at all. No, it's totally cool. But yeah. Um, we're going to go we're head into this room over Yes. Here. I turned around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to do, okay. <laughs> so we're going to check out this suite right here. <laughs> We're going into room B313. Eric, <laughs> I don't want to go through all the keys. Let's see, we get the DM right here. Well, hold on. Oh. It's got to be the right one. There's more than one building master. Okay. Well, there's all, all four buildings have their own separate one. Nice. And then you have a coffee table, a table right here. I know some people hook up their TV, like have some storage there. There's a table in the corner. And then storage. Yeah, there's storage. I know I had like my kitchen supplies, it's like uh, my cups, plastic, paperware. And then there's like a, a counter. And I put my microwave up right here because I feel like that was like the best fitting situation. And then you also have like storage right here. This is a good space to do this. And there's a sitting chair underneath, but it's also big enough for a mini fridge. I have a mini fridge underneath here. And we're getting a few questions. Um, Callie asked, will the desk fit under a lofted bed? I don't think so, but we're going to go in there yeah. and we'll continue looking. I do not think then, that nice here. You know. uh, someone else asked, are the sofa cushions attached or removable, and what are the measurements of the sofa? Oh, let's, let's check. <laughs> the sofa cushions are definitely removable. The back of um, the back of 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 the the measurements <laughs> what did you want for measurements? Uh, she just said, uh, what are the measurements of the sofa? So okay. I assume just yeah, I how long it is. It is 75 and one fourth inch. Let's, let's get it from the inside here as well. Here, actually. We have 68 and three fourths of an inch. And then you've got this, uh, which is, I don't know, maybe about five, five or six inches. Mm -hmm. uh, Lincoln Stacy says, that is my son's actual room. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. That's awesome. All right, we're caught up. Yeah. So we can check out what a room looks like. Mm -hmm. So when we come in here, this is like two residents who live here. So there'll be two rooms, two closets. This is a pretty good space for your clothes. And then there's like a bug uh, shelving, and then I had like my shoes on the bottom. Um, close this. And then we have two seats with the light on the mirror, and then two outlets. And then we also have like storage for cleaning supplies and like other things you want to put underneath. And then we have the restroom with this part. And so you have two towel hooks and then a nice bathtub, you know, it's really nice. And it comes with a shower curtain already and then the toilet. And for communal, not communal, for sweet bathrooms, you need to bring your own toilet paper, your own cleaning supplies because you'll be responsible for cleaning this restroom. And we're getting a few questions. Uh, Callie wants to know what's the width of the closet? It's 
42 inches. And someone asked, what are the rules for having a non-resonant over? Hmm. Visitation rules. Um, so I, right now, I think there's still some things that are up in the air with like COVID and stuff like that. There's still some like overnight visitations. But um, typically, each building has a visitation hours that are set. Um, I can't, I'm blanking all of a sudden. I'm not mm -hmm. on the which. Um, they're they're on the website. Isn't it they will be up soon. I think they're. Yeah. Um, last year we had very unique visitation because of COVID. This year we're coming to conclusions on what yeah. visitation is going to look like. So stay tuned. You'll Sorry find about that. that. I was yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned. We'll have that out probably in the next few weeks at least. But um, on a normal year, in a normal year, what does it look like? So you're able to have people come over. Um, there are certain sort of restrictions based on like fire code and stuff like that. Um, so it's usually two resident uh, for for each resident it's two people. Mm -hmm. So um, you can have two people plus you, so three. Um, that's typically what it is. Um, there is ability. There was again in a typical year there was ability for overnight guests as long as you've communicated that with, especially in this situation with all of your suite mates and stuff like that. Uh, but no more than usually it was. I think it was forty eight hours over a two week period. Mm -hmm. That's what it was That's the standard for before. Yeah, that's what it was back, but COVID has really made us have to rethink a lot of stuff and, and we're still not out of it. You know, we still have, we have a lot of considerations to still put in and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Angela asked, can we get the width and the depth of the bathroom closet? Yes. So for depth, we have 23 inches. Okay, and then Someone asked, what is the length from the shower rod to the floor? Seventy-two inches. Let me uh, point out one thing about the uh, bathroom, bathtub, bathroom real quick, is that um, we are not going to be coming in here over the course of the year. So it's up to you and your, and your suite mates to clean it and keep it cleaned as you wish. Um, I think we'll be in it around winter. Don't come in the winter break and clean up a little bit, but for the most part, it's up to you to figure out how you want to how you want to keep it clean. Mm -hmm. and it's nice to have like a cleaning schedule with your suite mate, so that one person is doing the job every single time. And M. P. Thornton asked, "What is the floor space on the floor in front of the bathroom sinks and next to the shower for rugs?" So I guess shower. that area. So from the door to the tub is 36 inches, and then I, they want this length. Um, I think they want the length from like the edge well, of the I mean, toilet to oh, okay. to the wall, and then this area. From the wall to the toilet, it's 41 inches. And then probably like. Yeah. I can put my foot right here. Yeah. yeah. We have 64 inches. Okay, and then across this way. Thank you. Sixty inches. Um, Heather was asking. I can't seem to find her comment that she was talking about. Uh, Heather, would you mind asking your question again? And Brooks asks, what's the flooring in the bedrooms? Okay. So in the bedroom, mm -hmm. we have like some wooden floor. Yeah, it has, a, it has a formal name, and we use it on the website mm -hmm. where we talk about it. It's um, some sort of texture. It looks like wood. Laminate? Yeah. It's a laminate, but it's like better than your standard laminate. Like it's, uh, it's actually a pretty nice. It gives a little bit. Yeah. Kind of floor. It's meant to replicate wooden floors. Mm -hmm. And so this is what a, the bedroom and morning look like. So we have a nice, like, what do you call this? I'm blanking. Wardrobe? <laughs> a wardrobe, yes, thank you. And then when the door is open, you have like a little hanger rack, and you can put stuff right there. And then there's two drawers underneath. <laughs> So there's one drawer. Let's say one. 
Um, May asked, are the desks the same in all of the quads? Not exactly. In Morgan, this is what the desk would look like. In Harding. In Harding, in Clark. And yeah. in Gatewood, it's um, a little bit more like smaller desks. So it'll be like a desk, and then you have like one of these underneath it, but it'll be to the side. We're getting, we're getting a lot of questions coming in. Um, Brooke asked, is the flooring the same in Clark? Yes. All right. And then how many outlets are in the bedrooms? Okay, so there's an outlet right here by the bed. It has two sockets. There's two right here. And then there's... Six. There's two back here. Two here on the far wall. Oh, there's four. Four. Mm -hmm. um, someone asked, please measure the window for a curtain rod. What type of rod is best? Um, so what I use, I have a spring rod, and I just got it from like $5, and it was like $5, I think, and that worked. Um, the measurements, it is 37 inches for the measurements. Michelle, do you mind um, drawing the shade? Oh, well, I'm sorry, uh, closing it. <laughs> um, I, oh, I don't do that because it's remarkably dark. Like it's darker than you would think. You may not need to get. Like it's not blackout curtain level, but it's pretty dark. Yeah, I know some people just like curtains for aesthetic. <laughs> and then the up in the length okay. or the height, yes. We have fifty seven inches. Um, Heather was asking, in the shower, uh, we gave her the height, and she wants the, the length. length as well. Okay. Almost got it. Okay. 57 inches. All right. Whoa. Reynolds asked, what is the measurement from the bottom of the desk to the floor? We have 30 inches and 35 eighths of an inch. And Callie wants to know the width and the height of the wardrobe, I think, just the inside of the wardrobe. We have 53 inches and for the width, we have 34 inches. And someone asked, what's the measurement from the open wardrobe to the door frame? So probably this. I can put my hand 30 inches. Uh, Lincoln asked, what is the measurement from the floor to the bottom of the cork board? So, yeah. Thirty-seven and a half inch. How much room is between the desk and the bed for a rug? And then do we want to do great? We have 90 and a half inch. All right. Um, J. Cole asked, what is the length, width, and height of <clears throat> the large chest of drawers that are under the desk? So for the height, it is 30 inches tall. Thirty-five and seven inches uh, wide, and for depth, maybe like we have twenty-one inches for depth. 
Um, Maggie asked, what was the length or the width of the window? She heard you say the length was 57 inches. The width? Yeah. We have 37 inches for the width. And someone's wondering, uh, what's the dimensions of the desk and the chest of drawers? We just did the chest of drawers, so just the desk. So this one. Do you need me somewhere? I'm trying to move this chair. I'm going to get to this. Okay. For the depth, we have 22 inches for this smaller one. And then the height is going to be the same. You want to see the height again? Uh, they wanted the dimensions for the desk. Oh, the desk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Brooke asked, do we need to bring an Ethernet cable for a computer or a TV? Um, the room actually comes with the Ethernet cable, and the Wi-Fi is already in the room, too. And so this is what this is. And the Ethernet cable. You have to bring your own Ethernet cable. The Wi-Fi is already here. The Wi-Fi is already here, but you have to bring your own Ethernet. Mm -hmm. Unless you have a smart TV or like any smart devices and stuff like that. Um, if you go to the, I, I think you guys will be with Resnet later mm -hmm. in the month, or not really later in the month, but maybe next month. Um, but there is a way, there's a guide to how to connect different things that they allow, that the, the network allows on it. So any smart TVs or video game systems or even computers, TV, or computers, laptops, stuff like that. Most of that can connect to the Wi Fi. There is some times that you'll want the Ethernet, and you can still connect it into the bottom of that, and it will produce. Um, yeah. Yeah. I had like a, um, a smart TV and you just have to register it register for the university so you can walk out and answer it. And we're doing a presentation later in this series called Housing Services. And in that presentation, we'll have someone from ResNet who can answer all your really technical questions about all of your uh, Siri and, and, and Alexa and <laughs> everything you want to bring, your Echo Dots. <laughs> Uh, Jada asked, how is the desk in Gatewood? Okay, so <laughs> the desk, it is kind of like the size of this drawer right here. And then it will be like a smaller drawer next to it. And it will be kind of like that. And it's very movable. Like this one is a little bit bigger, but in Gatewood is a more smaller movable desk. Like I had my setup where the desk was at the window and I was just like, this length on the wall. That's how big it was. Yeah, I actually answered this question yesterday. So um, the desk is uh, 32 inches wide, uh, 24 and a quarter deep, and about 30 and a half inches high. Okay. Uh, someone asked, do all the rooms have that cork board? Yes. yes. Um, someone else asked, isn't there a mirror in the wardrobe? There was one in the Morgan video. There's no mirror in this world. Some do, some don't. Is there one on the back of the door? Yes, there's one right there. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm going to uh, Connor asked, do the windows open? The window opens outward, so it's like... There's like a little plug cap. This one is actually rolled. We need to put a maintenance for that. But <laughs> so whenever you open it up, you just like unlock it and just push it forward and you have like air coming through it. Um, Priscilla asked, I'm assuming this is the same as Harding, just clarifying. Yes. Yes. Uh, someone else asked, what size fridge will fit under a lofted bed? So there are size requirements for what a fridge you should bring, and I will look on the move, move, move in that you are, and it will have all the measurements that you need. 
uh, Lincoln asked, are we able to raise the bed? Yes. So there's like little notches that you can raise the bed and I'll measure from the highest. And these will go higher, I believe. There's a kit that you need. Um, uh, you can go to movein.uark.edu and then look for the ready to arrive area towards the bottom of the page. And you're gonna find an area on that page that's called lofting. And it's gonna tell you the maximum measurements and then you can do it from every three inches from the lowest to the highest. Someone asked, uh, Callie asked, sorry I got interrupted when she measured for a floor rug. Can she please say that again? I think. We've got it in the uh, feed, which will be up. We'll be posting this on YouTube and then IGTV, right? Yes, yeah. right after. Um, someone asked, do the Harding Hall wardrobes have drawers or shelves on the bottom? Eric, can you answer that? The, the Harding, all of the furniture in Morgan, Clark, and Harding will be this. So, and then I, I'm pretty sure even in Morgan, or not Morgan, sorry, in Gatewood, they're all drawers. Everything's a closed drawer. All right. Uh, if that's what they're asking, but yeah. like this, what you see here is more or less, like this was what you'll see. Uh, someone said, I need to know how high the lofted bed will be so I know if my fridge will fit. If you lock it, so are you, if you lock your bed, if you fit within the requirements, I think it's four cubic feet, I believe is what it is. If you, if you raise this to the top, your, your fridge should fit under there. Your, your mini fridge. Yeah, your mini fridge. Like a, yeah. I'm at home. Yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, yes. Your mini fridge should fit under here. If you get one of the rented mini fridges with a, with a microwave on top, that won't fit, but a mini, like a miniature fridge will fit under this if you raise it to the, the level it needs to go to. Um, and then if, in, as Christopher was talking about, like if you, if you would like your bed to be higher, it can, so obviously the fridge should fit under there. Yeah, there's another piece that's the same height. That goes on yeah. To raise it. We just, okay. Well, we're currently caught up on the questions. Feel free to ask any questions about dimensions or anything to do with the rooms and the quad. Uh, someone asked, can a mini fridge fit under the desk? I am thinking... Maybe a small Probably, like a small It would be one. very snug. Yeah. We can pull this out for a second. You can see this is sort of the dimension of a small refrigerator. Yeah. Um, I know one of my friends, she had, she lived in this hall, and she had a smaller one, not like the maxed out height, and she fit it under her desk. Uh, Kirsten asked... Oh, Jada asked, in Gatewood, can I put the desk under my bed? Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you lift it up, yeah, if you lift it up, the, the desk can go under there. All right. Um, Kristen asked, what are the dimensions of the colored wall? The accent wall? Yes. 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 The... Exactly 109 inches. Can we do um, this, yes. uh, this dimension as well? 104 inches. And someone wants to um, know the measurement of the window in the common living area. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It is six to eight inches wide. And six to eight inches tall. Uh, someone asked, can you please measure from the top peg of the bed to the floor? Yeah, although this is not really the top, top bed. This is just for this one. Like, there's a whole other set that will take it all the way up to here. I believe. It is 33 inches. Uh, Brooke asks, do you know which room Jay is? Is that the one by the bathroom? Is that the first 
Jay's on the other side. Yeah, okay. we're on the E and F side. J and H are over here. Okay. Which that just mirrors the same. Yeah. Yeah. Ten to. You can just take a little look. J is the closest to the bathroom. Yep. So J would be this room right here. All right. And someone asked, where can we access our mailing address to have some things shipped to school? So I guess in a, in a couple of days, you can look on your housing portal and then you scroll to details. And then the bottom will have like the address for mailing and then your special p and box number. And that's where we'll be able to locate that. All right, well, we're caught up for now. Any uh, thoughts for our incoming students who are going to be living here? Well, I'm just going to say you're going to enjoy being here. It's going to be a fun new experience. And, you know, especially whenever you have roommates, you know, you make the best of it. <laughs> and, of course, the students are going to rise, but, you know, you can just push it and do too. You're going to be living in a safe place, so I would just, like, try to work hard to, you know, have fun and, like, whenever it just Agreements happen, you know, try to get snipped in the butt real quick. You don't like wait to like ten or five, five or ten things like happen. You're like, okay, I'm like this, this, and this, but just talk about it. And so I know communication is a very important thing, especially whenever you have a roommate. So that's what I want to say. Have very good communication skills. You're going to enjoy it. And thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the quad, specifically Morgan. Mm -hmm. And then uh, any thoughts to those who are coming in? Um, we actually have a few more questions okay. before. Right. Yes. Um, someone asked, can you control climate in individual rooms? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that we have. Right there. Um, Kristen asked, do you get your key fobs and keys at move-in? Yes. Do you want to take it? <laughs> so whenever you get your <laughs> you'll leave the RA, and then you'll get your keys and then your fob, and then that's when you have access to your room and to the building. Oh, my friend is on here saying hi to me. Hello, mm -hmm. Amanda. Um, mm -hmm. Someone asked, can I see the kitchen space again? Yes. So it's the countertop and then, of course, the inside cupboard. And one thing we didn't visit is there are kitchens in the hall itself for residents beyond the dining hall. Uh, and those are on close, I believe, two and four. Mm -hmm. Two in this building. This is where it gets, we play the game of different buildings. So in Morgan, it's on the second floor. Uh, in Clark, it's also on the second floor. In Gatewood, it is on the first floor. In Harding, it's also on the second floor. And Sorry. there is a stove, at least the one in here has a There's stove. stove. Should be a stove. There should be a stove in every one of them. And typically, a com like, I almost said a computer, a community microwave. And then. And a fridge. We have one last question. Sarah asks, could a mini fridge fit next to the desk or will the door be in the way? So, I think she means here. Yeah, there's no space for it unless you put it either under the table or like right here under the cork floor, but the door will be in the way. You have to put it right there. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have anything you'd like to say to any residents coming in? I mean, we're just really excited for you guys to come in. I've um, been working with the RAs over the summer, uh, coming up with some stuff to have a really good experience this summer. Or not summer, sorry, just this upcoming school year. I have still a little bit of summer mind. Um, I know that there are a lot of really great programs that are also going on campus, so getting involved on campus is really great. Um, one of the ways to do that is during uh, that opening week. We call it a week here. Um, if you go to pick1.uart.edu, you can pick a... Uh, organization or a office and they're going to have some activities throughout the week for you to participate in and they've got some really cool stuff coming up. Um, I know housing we've got a uh, like field day stuff going on um, and then there's a few others that are uh, out there too. So check that out um, and then obviously Christopher referenced it a lot. If there are a lot of, if you have some other questions go to movement.uark.edu. It's got a lot of really great resources about how to make your movement process super smooth, super seamless, and really, honestly, stress, as stress-free as possible. If, if you follow that, just follow a lot of the stuff in that guide, it'll make stuff, stuff so much easier for you. Have a good night. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in.